Welcome back to the channel. This is Pilot Ryan with Pilot Ryan Media. If we're new, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up the auto discharge with your smart batteries. It has to be smart batteries for it to work. Uh, the smart batteries have a uh, microchip on board that communicates with um, radios, ESCs, chargers, smart checkers, all kinds of stuff. In this video, setting up auto discharge, however, we're gonna use the smart checker and a charger. I'm going to show you on both how easy it is to set up the interval at which your batteries are going to deplete down to storage charge, about 3.8. So auto discharge is very easy. Again, if you have the 6S packs, you have an IC5, which is a bigger connector, and you're going to need to have an adapter that is also smart to get down to either the checker or the charger to make it happen. Uh, if you don't have that third wire, that small wire, it, it, you can't do it. Um, but it is doable if you have the proper equipment. And again, you cannot set auto discharge up on batteries that are not smart. Everybody asks that because, of course, why wouldn't you want that cool tech too? You can get it at Horizon Hobby. Links in the description, all this cool stuff. Let's dig in and show you how easy it is and how cool and smart and safe it is to actually set up auto discharge. Let's go. Okay, to set auto discharge, we're gonna do it like this. So here's our checker. We've got our 3200 4S pack, IC3, so we don't need any adapters for this. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the battery here. And we're gonna also plug in the balance lead as well. Because we can. Now what we do is simply push this and you go to this screen right here. And this is great. So right now auto storage is off. You can see this up at the top, right? We're gonna go up here and show you everything. I'm reading upside down. So there's the charge voltage, uh, the charge current, storage voltage is 3.8. Um, now you can get in here and play with that and go even lower if you'd like. But 3.8 seems to be standard operating procedure, so that's what we're gonna do. So we're back out of that. Now we're at auto storage here. It's off, so we're gonna select it because we don't want it to be off, we want it to be on. And so now we can scroll through 24 hours. You see that? I'm sorry, 240 hours, 239 hours. We wanna be Let's just go all the way over here. 12 hours for goodness sakes. I could set this for a 12 hours gonna discharge. Me, I like it a couple days. So let's go 48. This is so cool. 48 and then enter it. Now it's set up auto discharge right here at 48 hours. This battery will do it on its own. It doesn't have to be plugged into anything. So we're gonna take this exact battery right here and we're gonna plug it into one of the chargers and show you how the charger will recognize that this has already been set to 48 hours. Then we're gonna readjust it so you can see how to do it on a charger. So that's that. And then if you wanna just go back to regular, you know, cell checker or balance or whatever, you can do that as well. You just go back and then here we are. So we've got this beauty right here. And what we're gonna do now is the same thing. We're gonna plug in our IC3 over here. And our balance port goes down on the bottom on this one. And we're already like in the smart screen. So all we're gonna do, so we're on the like home screen basically. We got a cell reading right here. Uh, we're on the S1500 from Spectrum. It's a four cell pack, the same one. Now we're push this button here, but I didn't, put a sh I didn't push it long enough. So what you have to do is go back to the home screen. What you wanna do is hold the button down a little bit. So hold it down. Now, there we have Smart. So I'm gonna select that again. You can see it's illuminated. And here we go again. You can see, let me scroll up here. Auto discharge, 
auto storage is set to 48 hours. That's because this is the battery we just set to 48 hours with the uh, smart checker. Storage voltage, the same deal, 3.8. Uh, the charge current, 4.8. Charge voltage per cell, 4.2. So same thing. If I want to change it, uh, that's all I got to do is go back into that menu and I can scroll it down to 44 and adjust it to our heart's content. We'll put it back to 48. Set it and forget it. Go back here and then you can scroll around here and have more access to information. Temperatures, things like that. And because it is a smart battery, it already knows how many cells it has, how it wants to be um, charged is set by you. Here's some of your health. This battery's only been uh, like charged a couple times. It's relatively new. So we'll leave this screen up and we'll plug in another battery that I know has been around a minute. Let's see what that one says. So this battery is good to go. It, it's been set for 48 hour discharge um, and it will do it. It'll go down to 3.8 volts a cell. And that's pretty sweet. I do want to show you a battery that's been around for a minute. Now I know I have driven and flown more often. So let's, let's do that. And I also want to see what happens when I just plug in the balance board. You see, with just the balance board, you're not going to get your smart. You don't have it there, right? So you got to have everything plugged in. So now we've got our IC3 plugged in as well. And there we go. We're smart. It gives us that little chime. And just like before, you hold this down and uh, smart illuminates right away. We're going to go ahead and say yes. Let's check it out. This one's been set to 48 hours as well. So I'm good with that. And this battery's beat up from the feet up. So we're going to go back though to this screen and I want to roll through. Yep. I've got way more. I got five cycles on this one, but I'm in great health. I haven't over discharged it. It hasn't been too hot. Everything's in really good order. And I see how many cycles I have on it. See that recycle double arrow thing right there. That tells you how many cycles you have on your packs. I think this is really good, especially for the guys who haven't been really good at keeping a log of their battery usage and what's going on. Um, you can tell, you can see it right here if you've over discharged them, if you've been tough on them and how many cycles you have. I just think that's fantastic. Wonderful. We'll go ahead and get out of this. We're good. We showed you. Uh, we don't really need to auto discharge already set to 48. I like that on this one. And, and now that we've got batteries that are, um, have been set to um, auto discharge. We got the same old school battery that's been around. It's got five charges on it and we're going to go ahead and plug it into this one and look at, see what smart says on it because it's going to know it's going to know that it's set to 48 hours because that's when you set that, that stays with the battery. It stays with the information, the microchip on the battery. It knows in between the smart checker and the chargers that it's been set to 48 hour discharge. So it's not confused. So, all right, everything's plugged in. Balance lead and the battery itself. Battery itself has to be plugged in. That's where the servo, uh, that's where the smart wire comes in and communicates and tells it this stuff. So we hold this down longer than normal. And we are here on the smart screen, you can see. And we'll scroll up so you can see it. But there it goes. This is a battery that we set to 48 hours on the charger and it recognizes it. It's just really neat. Between the smart checker, uh, you need everybody needs one of these in their toolbox. Uh, and these chargers that are actually very, very affordable and very cool. They've replaced everything I had previously. I've, I only use this stuff now. I do still have other batteries, obviously, but I am, I'm slowly replacing them with this smart stuff because I just think it's the coolest thing. So guys, that's how you set the auto discharge. Okay, that's it. It's that simple to set up the auto discharge on your smart batteries. 
Uh, remember, these are IC3 connectors on the smart checker and on the smart chargers. Uh, if you want to do this with your 6S packs that have IC5s, you're going to have to have an adapter that gets you from your 6-cell battery to the device. Now, it can't just be any adapter. It's got to be one of the IC adapters that have that extra wire. Um, otherwise, it doesn't know it's smart. And you saw in the little video, if I don't plug in the battery lead itself, it doesn't give me the smart functionality to um, access and adjust. So you see what I did where I used the balance lead and the battery lead, and I'm able to access the smart functionality uh, and set my auto discharge from both the smart checker and the chargers. Guys, the product links are in the description. Thanks for coming by. I hope you learned something. I sure did. And um, I really am having a good time. And I'm switching everything over to the smart stuff. It's just fantastic. And I'm really just scratching the surface. Watch the P51 videos. There's a little blip in there that shows you the onboard telemetry that's smart that comes with that plane. Again, no additional modules. Just so neat. Um, I, I, I've been driving trucks lately. I got one of the uh, DX5C radios that I'm very excited to use with my, um, <laughs> again, I'm telling you, the smart ESC. So it's going to tell me temps and RPMs and all kinds of wonderful information for my surface vehicles. And then um, I've got an Avion ESC that's going in a Warbird here pretty soon. Same thing. Uh, when you're using smart batteries as well, you're, you're going to have a lot of uh, telemetry at your disposal, which is, is cool. Guys, stick around. We're just having a ball with this, and we're learning it as we go. Uh, but one little thing at a time, I think the auto discharge is super important. It's smart, and really, pun not intended, it is smart to auto discharge your batteries down to a storage voltage if you're not going to fly them. So with that being said, fly smart, be safe, have fun. This is your pilot, Ryan. Subscribe, like, smash it. Links in the description. We appreciate you. See you later.